Okay, pilots. I'm gonna uh, install my navigation lights here and show you how I do it. A lot of people do it different ways. I I got my way. Now, first thing I do on this one anyway. Sometimes you'll have a piece of tape over you. Servo leads coming up through here. You'll have a piece of tape over them or a cover, whatever you want to call it, decal. To, in order to get that up, you try to find your edge somewhere that's coming loose. Don't don't try to start peeling it up with your fingernail. You dig your paint up, but you're gonna take paint off anyway. But you want dam you don't want to damage any paint that's outside the strap. But you get that corner, and you you only try to get half of it up, just half of it, just just kind of get half of it up all the way down. Take your piece of masking tape, just masking tape, and you find something on the model like plastic. See the landing gear cover right here? Well, once you bend that tape off, bend it back, you take your piece of tape and you stick it to something that's plastic. Anything other than something that's painted on the styrofoam. See? A servo. See? Use the servo. See? Anything but the paint that's on the foam. Or it'll pull it right off. Now. So you get that. But this one had... Little covers is on them. Oh, I'm dropping one. They got little small ones. They got T's there. But they come right off. They hollow on the inside. They had just a little bit of glue on them. But that exposes the channel for your lead. So then you come out here and you look at your panel. See the lines, see the panel lines? Well, you can fix you out a pattern. See how that servo lead comes out there and turns and goes back towards the center of the plane? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna break off right there and come up to that panel line there and go right straight down that panel line until you get out here to the end of the wing. Now some planes don't have panel line all the way out to the end and when it does that see if I can get an angle you can see it see when I've cut this little piece out this little piece goes in there see well you cut that out but what way you do that is you take make sure you got your cover see, that you're gonna use Let's see how was I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it like this on this one. And you set it on the tip of the wing there. Yeah. And if you'll take your fingers and press kind of hard right along the edge of it there to where it'll put an imprint in that styrofoam. Just kind of push real hard there around the edge of it. It'll make a line. Right along the edge where the edge of the cover's gonna be. Well, you don't want to cut that line. You want to cut about, say, you know, three millimeters from that line to the inside. See? So that way, when you put your cover on, get a piece of that. I'll show you from green. When you put your cover on, it'll still have an overlap there for it'll give you some room to glue to. See? You always want something to glue to. Now, I've, I've, I mean, you know, if you really want to get serious with it, you can cut you a little valley around it to where that cover will insert into the plane. Now, you want to go that route, go right ahead, man. Go for it. You're better than me. <laughs> well, okay. So after you've done that and you've cut that corner out, what you've got to decide is, I mean, where's my green line at? Here it is. You've got to decide whether you want the light to be facing forward on that edge or do you want it over here on this side pointing outward. Now, I like my lights to be pointed outward. I want to see the wing 
from the side. I don't know what's, what wing I'm looking at from the side, so I'm gonna put mine to the side. Well, even though my body line does not go all the way in line with where my line, where my lead's coming go out, gonna come out. I'm still gonna cut and make just an L bend in it. But what you got to do is, you got to remember, make another, that was shorter. Them LEDs has got this plastic covering over it right here. You know, that's the shrink wrap they put over it. Well, that LED's also got a resistor in it right there, right dead in the center. And you gotta be very careful with these things. You start pushing and shoving and, and, and ramming, you're gonna break them leads and they won't work. So you gotta be careful. So when you make this cut right here at the first, you won't make it wide enough to where that lead that's covered up or will slide down in it with no problem. You don't wanna be pushing on that. So we're gonna cut it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example so I can lay it down and do it. No, that's nothing up. I've done the other side. See the red light sticking out there? And the lead goes out to that panel line. And that panel line comes up here to this servo. It makes that turn. I hope you can see it. Let's see up here. There we go. See how the lead makes it? I made that turn there and I put the lead in the channel. Now right here, as you can see, the, the landing light sticking out. And I've got the leads coming up to where I can splice in right there. Now, I just splice my landing gear, landing light right into the same lead that the navigation light is on. I just splice into it, and, and I don't do no no soldering. You can solder them if you want to, but pilots that, that wire is so small and so thin, the solder would melt it probably before you get a connection. And I don't want no 120 degree soldering iron there in my stuff on the plane. I, I, that just worries me. So hell, I just, you know, tie it, twist it. It works. I ain't had a problem yet. I've got 50 planes with lights in it. So I'm gonna make this cut here. They're all about, you want to go about three millimeters. You don't want to go much more than that because some of these planes, the wings are so thin, you can probably go right to it before you know it. So all you need is about three millimeters. So I'm going to make an L shape using my light here for a, a distance cut. I just want to make a cut here straight, right toward the center of the wing and make it long enough to where that black covering will go into it and wide enough for it to go into it. So I'm kind of making a 45 degree angle. Let me get my glasses on. I'm really going wild now. Um, but after I make that cut, and I know it's long enough, okay, now you still got to dig it out. So I take the blade, not the sharp end, but the flat end, and just kind of pick that piece out that I've cut out there. Eventually it'll move on out. And like I said, it's about three millimeters deep. Come on right there. Now, not only do you want to do that and make that wide enough for that lead to go in, but you want to come out here to the end. That light's a little bright. Let me put that bright light on dim. That was dim. You see where I've made my cut right here? Now I'm gonna make a, a another maybe two millimeter round circle to go around that. See? That way the base of the bulb, the base of the bulb, see how the base is a little bit bigger? 
I want it to make it just big enough for that base to slide into. That stabilizes the light. See it good. On this Trojan here, it was a one piece wing. I like them one piece wings. It's already got the carbon in it, uh, spar in it. Don't have to worry about putting that thing in it. I mean, I tell you the truth, pilots, I have forgot to put one in it and one build in it. I had to take it all back apart, put that spar in. You make your little circle about two millimeters down, and you take the the blade, of you, the point of your blade there, and just kind of manipulate that uh, foam out of the hole, and try not to destroy your wing too much. Try not to cut it all the way out to the edge. Try to leave you about a, a millimeter of foam in between the paint and the hole. I've had some wings that's been so, so narrow, like that TA-152, that, that wing was paper thin, I tell you. That's the reason I had to use the smaller bulbs on it. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a little hole cut there. I'm going to have to hurry here a little bit. It's already been 10 minutes. Right, I'm going to make my 90 degree turn right there three millimeters deep, straight. Try to make them the line as straight as you can. Uh, that foam kind of moves you around there a little bit, but if you make the line straight, it kind of looks like a regular panel line of the plane. But if you start going into angles and, 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 and you know, obtuse or, or acute angles, it, it, it makes it look like crap, pilots, man. So try to keep your line straight in, in the panels, in the panel line. So I'm making my cut here right down the center of that panel line. And it don't have to be straight as an arrow, but you want to try to stay in that panel line. You can always, when you push that lead down in there, it's going to spread that apart. And if you do it right, sometimes the foam will form back around the lead where it'll cover it up sometimes. I've had them cover them right up where you couldn't see nothing, but be careful, don't cut your lead to the servo. All right, now the next step after you cut that valley, I take a small straight head screwdriver and I run right down that valley that I just cut. Even the one that I made big enough for the shrink wrap to go into, you want to make sure that, that that valley is opened up there a little bit so that that lead go in. You don't want to be pushing on the lead too much neither. I mean, the, the, the wire is paper thin. So you just take that thing, I hope you can see what I'm doing there, and just kind of like hold it in a 45 degree angle, and then when you get to that turn, hold it straight up and down, and you make them turns. All right, here we go. Now there's a square spot on these uh, FMS bulbs, and I like to use that because the black lead is up when that square flat is up. And I like to use my black lead up. I don't like putting that red lead up. You can see it too easily. But you just kind of maneuver that light down in that hole. And you take that same flat head screwdriver and just ease it down in there. Just easy. And turn the wire. Make sure you try to get that red lead down. I'm telling you, it looks better with that red lead down, Pilot. Now, sometimes the wire is separated there where they've got it spliced in. So you, you do one lead at a time. And you use that screwdriver, just push it right down in there. And then you make your turns. Kind of tough when you make them turns, but you can get it. You 
MFMS lights that give you plenty of lead there. It goes in a big old 1410 millimeter 182 Cessna. Cessna. Come on, baby. You gotta do better now. We on camera here. I've got my fuselage painted. I got the horizontal verticals, I mean the horizontal stabilizers painted. I'll show them to you here in a minute. Paint matches pretty good to the yellow that's on the, gonna be on the cow. I've painted my cockpit black. Got rid of that red. Now I'm just taking that lead and holding it straight up now and pushing that red lead down in first. Now you, you're going to push it down some more. So I'm saying, well, that ain't getting it down in there enough. Well, you're going to take a screwdriver. I'm going to show you another trick. I'm almost to the end here. I tried to show you the trick there. It's pretty much, I'm just going to show you. I mean, earlier I showed you how to run it down the track. Now it takes a little bit of time to get it down in there, but you do it. You take that same screwdriver and you make sure the only time the only thing you gotta worry about is the turns really. Get them turns in there. Once you get them turns started, you use the same process you did with, with opening the valley. You hold that screwdriver in a 45 degree angle. Or maybe less, maybe a 30 degree angle. And you just sit there and push that wire down in there. And once you get it going. If you've got your lead run down right, they smooth and in the channel. That screwdriver, push that lead right down in. I'm a little, little sideways right there. Let me get that straight down. There we go. Let me get one back there. So just take your time now. Take your time. Ain't no hurry. All the time in the world do stuff like this. This is what makes the hobby fun, making it yours. Everybody's got a silver, yellow, and red Trojan, Arrows Trojan. You know? Mine's going to be yellow, but if it stayed silver and, and yellow and red, it'd still have nav lights on. Still have a landing light in it, I put in. Make it yours. I don't put decals in the same places as everybody else is doing. Might not, might not be where it originally is on the plane, Warbird, whatever. But it's my plane. I do it the way I want to. And that's why I'm single, because I do things the way I want to. Now, I've got that pushed in. <clears throat> like I said, you run it right up the track to the center of the plane. Run it right down that plug there and fit right down the same way the servo leads did. And it'll look like that. And you put them little tabs back in, but well after I splice that in. But all I done was is I made a little little loop with the lead to come from this way. I made a loop but three inches and then the lead comes in from the landing light there and I spot splice them in but while you splice these LEDs is, 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 you can't make a circular circuit see? you've got to make it red to red like to black it's like a like a like a, a wine, wine harness does see? red to red black to black no other way or you'll burn your lights out Red to red, black to black. No, no, don't make no, no, go red to black and black to red on, on the loop around. Don't do that. Don't do that. But that's it. That's how I install the lights. Now on the, I was going to show you that. On the landing light, on this side, there's no hole, there's no nothing. See it right here? Now, I take a straight owl, this little small miniature owl, not no big one, a little straight owl. Where'd he go? Here he is. I 
poked a hole. Take a hole. Poked a hole. At about a 45 degree angle. You go up here to the lead where the lead's coming out. Make the hole big enough. Stick that all the way through. Sometimes you have to run a drill bit through it. And make you circle around the hole to put the base of the light in, just like you did on the other side, on the LED, on the nav lights. And that's what you get. See, there ain't even no, there ain't even no cut there that I've had to make or run no channel. It's all through a hole coming up through here to here. I take one minute, one minute epoxy. I like to do it in one minute. You ain't sitting there holding this thing on there <clears throat> and trying to keep it tight for 20 minutes. You're holding it there for about three minutes. Make you hold you up. I'm make you, you, you slot there just smaller than you cover. See? Just smaller than the cover. See how it overlaps it there? Overlaps it on the back side. There's where your glue's gonna be. You don't want no glue out in here. You want all your glue on the edge. So you just barely put a little edge of glue on it. Not much. Let's see here, this is green over here. Hold it on there. That's the bottom. That's the top. Now, be something similar to that. Not too bad, is it? Not too not too shabby. But this is this is this is this is something I was wanting to show you too, Pops, man. Uh, Pilot Ryan kind of snuck it in there and let you see a little bit of it, you know, on his video on the, on the T-28, Arrows T-28. But I'm going to let you look at her good, man. You get two of them on each side. But I might not even put these on this plane, though. I might put them on, on something else I'm going to be getting in the future. But there's my, there's my install, installation of lights. Uh, let's see, was there anything else I was going to show you? Let's see. Let's, oh, I was going to show you. <clears throat> it's still taped up now. Jeff's Custom RC. Man, I want to appreciate it. I've used mine. I better not say the name. They, they, they grocery bags. Old grocery bags from going to grocery shopping. Taped it up. Jeff's Custom RC, man, he, he he showed me that idea. I was taking envelopes and tinfoil, and it was kind of hard to work with, and that tinfoil grab a hold of that stuff. I can't really see this. Let's see here, let me turn it. But I've got, I've got my, that one taped up, but if it, if it don't come out good, man, I got another decal, Navy decal sheet coming. I'll, I'll take my servos up there real good. I'm gonna take these two lights right here. You paint the paint the edges of them silver. Paint the top one green, or the top one red, and the bottom one green, or whatever you want to do. But if you paint it down, paint it silver first, and let it dry overnight. Don't don't go back right over after you paint it. Let it dry overnight. Take a sharpie, whatever color you want, and you put it on that silver, man, and it makes it look like it's it's lit up. I'm telling you. Let me see here. Let me see here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not. It kind of brightens that light up there. Put a silver base down first. There's, there's my stabilizer. There's my copy up there. It's actually going, it's going to be all black. Just, and the, the black here goes out through the cow. You know how to cut it. So to kind of keep the sunlight from blinding the pilot. That's why they do that pilot. So they paint that a, a real flat color so that the sun will, won't be reflecting in their eyes. But that's it, pilots. I mean, uh, let me get her, uh, dang it, I can't find a picture. Installation of lights on the arrows. 1100 millimeter T28. I'm out.